Hi everybody, this is Dr. Brian Brown with Core Chiropractic. I'm here for another edition of Facebook Live. So I'm here today to talk about sciatica. That's one of the common problems that we see here in the office. Uh, people coming in complaining of what they call sciatica. So let's talk about what it is first. When they tell me that they have sciatica, the first thing I'm thinking is pressure on the sciatic nerve and that's what causes sciatica. Sciatic nerve is comprised of a couple of nerves in the bottom of the spine and also in, a, in coming out of the sacrum. So I have my example right here of my spine here and it's usually the nerves that's coming right from the bottom here and out the bottom here. So when you have sciatica there's compression or damage to the sciatic nerve and all of those different nerves come down and branch and come down and come together and make up one big huge nerve. We're pretty much one of the biggest nerves in our body and it's easy, it's, it's easy for that nerve to be compressed. Uh, Usually what they feel is that nerve, uh, pretty much where that nerve follows. So they come from the lower back, so you can have some lower back pain. It goes down into the buttocks areas, and that's one of the very common complaints is pain going down into the buttocks. And that nerve goes all the way down the back of the legs and into the feet. And you feel things such as pain shooting down that way. You feel numbness. You can feel tingling, kind of pins and needles sensations. Or you can just have general weakness in the um, back of the legs or in the legs. And that's the symptoms for sciatica. Now some of the easy ways that you can get sciatica, it's a very common condition, is sitting too long. And we know most people, you know, they, especially ones with disc jobs, they sit all day. Uh, seven, eight, nine, sometimes 12 hours a day. Also in the car. You got a lot of people that drive for, for work and they, they're driving eight hours a day. That prolonged sitting can cause sciatica or sciatic symptoms. Uh, other ways, runners. It's very easy for runners to get sciatica and people that just have to stand, uh, like at a convenience store, and they just standing all day. That can also cause sciatic symptoms. Now, the thing that we look at and why chiropractors are a good uh, way, person to go to, a uh, chiropractor is a good place to go to uh, for sciatic treatment is misalignment of the bone. Uh, a lot of the times, not only the sacrum, the vertebrae, they can get misaligned. Those nerves can get compressed that make up that, that sciat uh, sciatic nerve. And you can get compression of that, that nerve there, just in the back. So what we look for in the office is pretty much how your structure is. We want to make sure that the bones are aligned in the bottom of the spine, uh, called the lumbar spine, and also in the sacrum and the pelvis to make sure that's in good alignment because that can pull and tug and cause imbalance and also cause pressure on that sciatic nerve. And there's another syndrome called piriformis syndrome. And piriformis syndrome is a, piriformis is a muscle. And it's a muscle that tightens up and it can compress that nerve as well. Usually you get piriformis syndrome from an imbalance in the body as well and like an imbalance in the pelvis. So those are different ways that you can have sciatica. One of the easiest treatments, one of the most cost effective treatments, of course I'm a chiropractor so I'm going to tell you it's chiropractic and that's the truth. Because it's non-invasive, we can find exactly what that misalignment is, take the pressure off of that nerve and allow your sciatica to, to get better. And that's all I have for you for today. Uh, I have more about sciatic, just stay tuned and uh, get more information about what's going on with sciatica. Alright, have a good day.